Institute in BCom and mastered in MBA Human Resource Management. He has a strong professional experience in the field of HR for more than 15 years, working as an HR executive, finance and admin in Subna Poultry Firm, executive admin in Artha Money, HR associate in Avon Hewitt Associates, and also as an HR senior associate on RBS Business Services, and is currently working as an HR consultant in Capgemini. He is experienced in handling employee query related to payslip and ensures that the service level agreement is met with combined efforts of the team. He consults with line management, providing HR guidance when appropriate, and develop contract terms for new hires, promotions, and transfers. He is certified in corporate finance. We welcome you, sir. Now, I would like to introduce our head of the Department of Human Resource Management of DGY School College, Dr. N.C. Martin. He is a highly experienced academician and has about 20 years of academic and administrative experience as professor, HOD, dean, and registrar. He did his postgraduate in labor management and PhD in labor laws from Tamil Nadu Institute of Labor Studies. He started his career as a lecturer from the same institutions. He held various positions in arts and science colleges, engineering, and media colleges. He held academic positions in various educational institutions, such as Sri Chandra Prabhu Jain College as assistant professor and HOD of MSW department, Sam's College of Engineering and Technology as a professor and HOD of MBA department. He was also the placement officer for NK division of Sam's College of Engineering and Technology. During his tenure, he successfully placed engineering and management graduates in top-notch companies of manufacturing and service sectors across the country. He continued his career in St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science as a Dean of Academics and L.V. Prasant Film School, one of the best film schools in Asia, working as a registrar. He acted as a jury representing the Employers' Federation of Southern India for the selection of companies for the best practices for the year. 2018 to 2019. He has added number of research papers and publications to his credit, and he is expert in the subject of labor legislations and industrial relations. He has given centum results in various HR specialized subjects in the university examinations. We welcome you, sir. This meeting is recorded for educational purposes. In case of any doubts or questions, the participants can unmute themselves or type the questions in the chat box. Now, I request Dr. N.C. Martin to speak a few words about the topic for the day. Over to you, sir. So thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, very you. happy to be here to one and all. Uh, first of all, uh, on behalf of management, our secretary, Sri Ashok Mar Mudraji, and our principal, Captain Dr. Santosh Babu, I welcome all the participants, the students, HR professor, and HR faculty. And my uh, a special uh, welcome to our uh, resource person of the day, Mr. Raghu Kannan, uh, HR consultant, uh, Keith Gemini, for being giving his consent to ask the webinar for it. And uh, this is our uh, uh, 64th webinar. So, starting the last pandemic, and uh, we are able to uh, come and attain this uh, achievement because of uh, uh, the industry uh, support as well as the students' coordination. So, coming to the topic for uh, the day, Employee rewards and recognition. So we know this is a system where uh, uh, the employees are acknowledged for their performance uh, by means of uh, intrinsic as well as uh, by uh, extrinsic ways of uh, uh, giving a recognition for them. So this program uh, recognition reward is present in a, a working environment where there is an appropriate acknowledgement and uh, appreciation of employees' efforts uh, in a fair and uh, a timely manner. So organizations implement the uh, employees' recognition program uh, to improve their uh, employee uh, morale uh, in order to attract and uh, retain them. And also, uh, the very important thing is to increase their productivity. So the increasing their competitiveness also is very important for any organization. So when the organization successfully implement uh, uh, these programs, uh, no doubt their revenue and profitability are increased. So the programs also uh, uh, reflect on uh, employ, uh, we can say, uh, improving the quality and also uh, for the safety and the customer service and it uh, reduces the uh, employee stress and advertisement. 
a survey reveals that that 68% of hr professionals so they have agreed that the employee recognition program uh, it has having a positive impact on employee retention and uh, the same survey reveals that the 56% uh, that uh, it also helps in uh, recruitment so it supports them for the recruitment so the organization should regularly recognize and uh, so validate their employee outstanding work and uh, they should praise them and also uh, should uh, reward them uh, by means of uh, monetary and uh, as well as uh, by non non monetary basis so a positive employee recognition strategy is essentially uh, reflects the condition that nothing is better than a sincere employee and uh, who do the given job well in the recent past so uh, there is a depth of talents and uh, skill set due to uh, increasing competitiveness for top talents so a well managed recognition program so it can provide a valuable help for employees so the organization must explore every available means to attract and retain the best employees and keep them engaged and productive so the organization should have in its place a clear and written policy and uh, guidelines so uh, a stating uh, in detail about the implementation of this program and the same should be communicated clearly for a better understanding of the employee so that so the employees will able to understand and uh, they can adjust their uh, desired outcomes so the organization should uh, also ensure that a variety of incentives and recognition opportunities are offered uh, in order to meet the various employees needs and uh, it should be implemented in time so then only the uh, program we can say it will be successful so this recognition and the reward program it should be you know well planned and well funded and it should be aligned with the organization goals uh, so that it should be an appropriate for the employees so the methods of uh, presenting the uh, awards it should must be uh, managed well with the managers uh, themselves by playing a very key role so the process of choosing and recognizing the employee should be uh, stay covered and the program uh, should be reviewed and evaluated regularly so finally i could uh, like to conclude by saying that the key success for our recognition program um, uh, i can say that is a management commitment of the resources it is very very important so during the budgeting process the organization should allocate the resources uh, that is the funds for the program and uh, uh, that they should establish suitable methods for distributing the funds to the department wise and for that the manager must dedicate the resources including the time to plan and execute the program and must enable uh, the employees and supervisors to run the program so this process the uh, managers can see that the distribution is fair and equitable and the money allocated and also um, it should be immediately available uh, to fund the program once it is decided by the organization so with this a brief uh, note i conclude and leave the session to resource person who is a right to throw a much light and expertise on the area of employees rewards and recognition thank you all the best Yes, over to you. So, by just me. Yes, sir. Just a minute, sir. Yeah. thank you martin thank you so much for uh, so i should check that you know uh, choose the first lot of mine because most of the topic you have covered <laughs> it is very good to know the, all the things you yeah, what the employee organization can expand uh, very well so i should find what should i speak <laughs> anyway you are a very practical person you can share the experience <laughs> i am i am the academician sir yes sir yes sir 
so uh, thank you so much uh, uh, martin and uh, bike let me a warm welcome all to my introduction and uh, i should say thank you to uh, coordinate with me for the two to three days and uh, uh, sahana and team i should say thank you to one of you the main voice the kirtana anusha vimal uh, nithyangi prashant anuradha and uh, nirik krishna so all of them thank you so much for the the young students will be approaching me and then they have work together and then uh, it will be success to run this program now thank you so much all and uh, warm welcome to everyone in this session and uh, i'm really glad to inform you to give this opportunity to uh, vishnuva college and martin as well so thanks and um, uh, back to this move on to slides one by one uh, let's start the slides next slide please yeah now uh, uh, ajanta uh, we need to talk about that uh, employee registration so mainly we need to talk about the employee registration uh, what is that uh, important of uh, rnd program what are the benefits of the employee in uh, registration program and uh, uh, most effective ways employee how will be utilize the rnd and cultivate the culture and self employment so all the things we have to cover up in this ajanta uh can you note it down if you need paper and pen so if any questions you can ask in the end of the forum i ready to answer your questions so whatever i have if anything i have uh, no flow on the session please uh, mail me or uh, whatsapp me i am definitely will be come to the answer in your queries uh, more next step bagyashni so first of all what this employee registration so you guys most of the people join the session for the students i think they are all come in next young generation people coming to the hr so uh, these people are the good opportunity so now when i am start the career in the 15 years back that is the rnd culture is very less now it will be increased more than 200 300% so every each and company they will be part of the rnd program that is the most important backbone of the of every, every organization uh, in today's ultra competitive work environment the companies with the winning edge are the ones uh, that have the best trained and well skilled staff however even the best employees cannot perform well or can even jump ship when they are not motivated enough this is the way employee registration in the workplace has to be an intimate part of the company's culture employee registration in the acknowledgement of the company the stress for extremely performance essentially the goal of employee registration in the workplace is to the reinforce the particular behavior practices or activities that results better performance and positive business results that is what each and every company come up with the or under program it will be placing the all the employee benefit as well yeah more to next slide please so why is registration important so one of the uh, biggest motivator for employees is to be held in high esteem by their peers the best way to earning this respect for is by being acknowledged for being a good that what they do while most would relate reward and recognition to monetary uh, bonuses of uh, extravagant avidity events employee appreciation does not have to be uh, that expensive or glory, uh, glamorous employee reward can be as canteen as a part on the back on every journey complaint it can also be a simple as a thank you email or friendly greeting at work so some the example employee did any good job we should, some managers or uh, co workers should be appreciated there is the culture is happening that all the four companies when employee done the achievement something better to others they given the thank you mail call to to send it to the particular employee they should be motivated for the organization next slide please the rewards in recognition uh, there is the uh, uh, what is the rewards what is the recognition okay the rewards is that uh, you know uh, uh, sometimes there is a difference uh, people think that uh, okay i am getting the reward what is the next for that organization nothing will be going to be there the organization is the less about what stock receive the work and more focused on business and to ensure the employees feel valued particularly when they do more than they need to 
the question of someone is uh, strikes to point out is stock feed that the additional effort of appreciably recognizing for a business ensuring that organization forces are of course essential for motivating the employees to continue going to above and beyond within their role without organization stock will no longer be motivated to work hard or uh, inhibiting both performance and uh, organization success so each and every time so we need to be motivated also so still in my organization that is 100% we will be following up with that so if people have done the achievement we have separate hr committee also there so every month we will be taking the list of people so there are uh, 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 many people need to get the achievement we conducting one aranda reward ceremony within every department we have uh, given some budget uh, and then we can we distribute under the monitoring regularly whether it correctly goes to the employees or not Uh, whether uh, how they are all uh, uh, engaged with that uh, employees so managers will be need the project project will be completed then okay take care bye bye that is not the end of the day so once the people are done the motivation then it has started when how people are getting the increment bonus as like the same any small gift 500 rupees or 1000 whatever it is even your moment to or a water bottle a cup of what is whatever it is pick up coffee or anything they will be given small goodies also they will be happy with that for example if people are coming to the fresher level uh, they will be new to the organization the company will be uh, uh, taking that new world of the new people so they are come out completing the some people we go and uh, hiring the campus interview they succeed that they come back to so that uh, it world they no don't know anything about the policy project they are on uh, only education level they know everything they coming to that uh, uh, company they think like what needs to be done what next what is the r and r uh, what hr will be do uh, and so nothing will be happen because people are uh, uh, hiring for the project the people go to the work and they come back salary is steady or not they think like that only so after the internally we have motivated the, all the people freshers who are coming they should know about the r and r so once people are achieved the, the, the pressure people are motivated to know they will long run stick in the same company so if they are not motivated the how can people are going to work with that So how the higher level people are getting the increment of both higher level the same we need to be motivated for all the freshers. So these are the backbone of the company. So because freshers are coming to stick the long run, then the company will be succeeded. Next slide, please. That is the four benefits of that uh, 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 recognition. So what is the make the employee happier, improve employee retention, and then cultivate the culture of the self improvement and boost of morale. so now make the employee happier how we make the employee happier happy employees are more productive being recognized gives your stock the feeling of job mastery and that they are great fit for their role and for the company acknowledgement can also improve productivity enhance loyalty and promote collaboration to add the workplace should be an environment where positive reinforcement is promoted and Constructive feedback is embraced. Now, improve employee retention. What is that? The hiring your staff only marks the beginning of the employee cycle. Next, you need to try and develop motivation for them to perform, and ultimately keep them. So, how do you keep your company's most valued asset? The answer is incentive programs. Employee retention is the ability of an organization. to retain the employee the employee reward and recognition is one of the possible approach to retain your staff an example can be financial incentives such as raises bonus and stock options so some of the companies uh, announcing the stock market options to the all to the respect of all the employees before that what you know that uh, 10 years before that high grade people only getting this benefit for if any share market is stable then the share market is open they are getting some uh, eligibility to that uh, higher grade people for the example senior manager and level above only now who are coming to that uh, uh, beginner level also they will be motivating to invest the stock so employee recognition gifts are also the great fun for example a gift card from the uh, favorite store or a token of appreciation for every 5 years of the service incentive program as means of employee recognition in the workplace is a great way 
show appreciation for employees give them motivated and make them stay so if they are not motivated people are what they thinking they are looking out for other jobs so not only the performance the performance well and good we should give it that identify the people and then we can give some uh, uh, good number of uh, a momento but they will be stick in the company they will be timely work timely come to office timely log off log out everything will happen smoothly but at the end of the day salary that is always you will be getting it so next what advance what add in that you will be getting the salary so everyone is working in the investment and future benefits of us only but everyone needs that same r and r and motivate the associate always next one is cultivate of self improvement so what do we cultivate the another benefits of the employees organization in the workplace is that it can be foundation of the cultivation of culture of self improvement one of the best ways of stock organization to provide them with opportunities to learn and make themselves better that they do to take it set further it will also the great incentives learning reward those who have taken the time to focus on self improvement uh, back to the go the next slide please boost moral slide next one boost moral yeah the way of your organization leaders manager employees also plays a significant factor in employees motivation letting your staff know that working is the being organized by the management can help motivate your company most valuable asset a simple greeting a before and then end of the day is an obvious but sometimes overlooked from the organization saying a sincere you know thank you uh, uh, thank you and apologies or some misunderstanding can be subtle ways of showing appreciation and respect this small generous may seem quite trivial but these are some of the best and most cost effective way of employee recognition in the workplace you will also be surprised that having a company culture that promotes the simple way showing appreciation as a stock recognition can be a big impact of employee recognition in the workplace you will also surprised uh, uh, that having the company culture and promote uh, uh, promotes the simple ways of the showing appreciation as stock recognition can have a big impact on stock moral of person next slide please makalish bagrish sorry the most effective ways of recognition the employees okay uh, the uh, uh, many companies uh, have employee or organization program in place however even in these companies it's very often that here the employees uh, complain about how their work in is not appreciated because it is not always uh, what you do but how you do it employee appreciation events days okay it's always better to prize uh, your best uh, 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 the co-workers for the because it can be boost the self esteem next bonus and trades so everyone would be interested to get the bonus and anything if anyone is getting the promoted what do they ask for the trade i like to send the bonus to company wide there are so many ways to treat your employees for doing a great job here are the some ideas out there might is the bonus will show them they are valued and make them feel that hard work with the paying off and is greatly appreciated by the company give away company branded gifts t-shirts and uh, uh, sweet shirts or token like pen bags mug etc to employees who are doing great who does not love food why not have tv lunch once we week everyone in the office next slide please employee recognition wall so and this is the most important one uh, the creative employee uh, ideas is the recognition wall you can set up a board in the office and have everyone at the office fill it with sticky notes that contain congratulatory messages for extremely poor worker 
this can serve as an inspiration for those who did well to keep doing better it will also challenge those who don't find the names on the wall to keep on trying to do better until they see posted message address to them so you now most of the companies uh, in recent days they are all the people close any even any project any people working we are put it in the uh, white board and that is called as uh, employee registration wall there are four star rating five star rating everything is regarding that managers who they monitoring an employee who did the good performing they immediately put it in that uh, board and this week the star of the week star of the month star of the quarter star of the weekly or uh, no hourly than yearly there will be regulation tick on the board whenever client visited our office they should see and then they also appreciate with the particular employee they are motivated as such so next slide please okay and one more thing i have to add on that uh, 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 that is for uh, uh, most important thing when the employees are uh, working culture uh, is different as like the same people are what they did in the work the what people are thinking that the countless of way to put employees recognition the workplace into action however it all begins with the company culture the winning employee recognition program start with having a company culture that advocates appreciating the top performer this can be the foundation for solid staff engagement continuous employee development and retention strategy for the culture that is the main thing of the r&d program so now companies are coming to the r&d is less but about the what staff receive their work and more focus on what business can do to ensure that employees feel value particularly when they do more than they need to do this question strive to point out the staff Feel that the additional efforts of appropriately recognized for a business ensuring this organization across is essential for motivating the employees to continue going above and beyond within the role. Without the organization staff, will no longer be motivated to work hard, inhibiting both performance and organization success. Or under occurs at every level, from managers thank you uh, to an increased pay packet or bonus. if you identify any issues with staff feeling unappreciated for their hard work consider start uh, uh, consider starting with the line manager or uh, uh, supervisor or uh, uh, l1 l2 manager who reporting to the manager managers to manager trying to ensure the organization is being uh, delivered to uh, 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 up to the level if this doesn't address your issues progress the strategy it will be more holistic reworking your r&d system and introduce a new methods of the stock to feel appreciated the effort we have committed the uh, hr business quarter level also you can take it up your concern because i have done this much work but partiality basis my manager gave me to that uh, you know uh, uh, certified r&d to other people so you can able to raise your concern so how to raise the concern we have the uh, hr bp at every company it's a generally some company they call the some they only call the hr business partner do you people partner the so different but people partner is the same they are the only action what employee come up with the query they will be raised to concern to uh, all the managers because why it is not happened then manager should give a justification uh, what this employee better to that employee the comparison always the motivation also because you did the very well job the, the big motivator to people to and extension to previous uh, you know uh, uh, choice important because it doesn't look at a specific part of the business pay and reward structure instead of the questions and disagree the indicate the general attitude of the stock towards your organization is undeniable that talent attraction the stock retention or or uh, intrinsically connected to how you are workforce feels the business views them individually who think the business does not care about the development or growth will not put 100% into their work and will leave the moment better opportunity appears if there are large number of negative responses to the questions the review of the company culture as well as reward strategy is essential the achievement deserves always the question persistently what we 
within that uh, 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 past days by leaving the employees an opportunity to come up with their own awareness or you can get that, that better understanding of the real impact of the company's culture so commission based business which is asked the questions will generate the significant different answer to the shopping the public service and the organization so and and last thing i want to conclude this this is the range of the different ways of recognition employees getting idea of or which methods you are talk here about most will help inform any changes to your structure moving forward here are some examples of recognition methods of start with all business before so splitting out the certain gender choice or adding specific will make the question to even more beneficial example of the month of words personal written practice prize public written prize personal verbal prize public verbal prize so everything we have announced in the all the companies not only the particular category every company we have in the forum the easy to miss great ideas about how you can recognize the staff for the hard work affordability the best people to ask the suggestions on you or the employees themselves which is why the question can be uh, invaluable use the anything recommended here to create short list of new ideas when amending or improving your reward the recognition system this is the both make staff feel that happy they have been listened to and improve the employee satisfaction and loyalty so my my simple uh, request is if the new gen of people hr who are coming to this idea organization work hard and please be uh, motivated because you are coming to the hr uh, uh, hr forum or the hr get a job you are coming to join in hr is very valuable and supporting to the associate so we are all called as the customers in hr perspective who are the customers employees are the customers we need to fulfill our you no know, uh, work and services to the employees only we have think about the both the sides one side the project managers or other bi side also another one the employees are also we need to segregate the both the things we need to do the ideology we have given the best services to the employees thank you so much for this forum so anyone can ask the questions i ready to answer them hope this forum will be satisfy to you for this so if any doubt please ask me thank you martin hi guys please open up the question please Yeah, for Prasanthi, what is the new trend? Help us repeat again, please. I am switching on my mobile. I will be able to see your conversation. Can I read, sir? Yeah, please. So what are the new trends in rewards and recognition? Yeah, who asked this question? Uttara, sir. Uttara. Yeah, that is the new range of uh, that is the different ways of recognition the employees getting the idea of Uttara. Now, what method companies should follow? Okay, for the example, the easy the great ideas about the how the uh, uh, company stock will be the doing the hard work or affordability based on that. The, the countless are ways to put the employees recognition motivation to action. how with all being sure the company culture a winning employee recognition program starts with having a company culture and uh, and appreciate the top of the performance so for the example that uh, if some people, uh, people are working into that uh, you know um, uh, some other project or some hr uh, need to be given that the reward the recognition we we allotment some budget to that initial every project because we are work based on the project only the hr is the whole company because we have uh, in every beginning of the year we have uh, fixed some budget of that uh, r and r and fun activities we have a lot of some budget so based on that we have segregated to that all the projects suppose example in one company there are 50 project different projects are there we have 15 project we have uh, allotted that budget 
based on that we will be start that you know uh, uh, r and r because it depends upon the project so what they interested in up to the project uh, budget if they ask me the t-shirt or mugs or whatever did they want to provide they should be provided so apart from that the different angles different uh, uh, companies will be for a different sector not in steam may be in every company we saw the new ideology from the each and every project they see but we only monitoring is it the correct way they will be distributing or not that is the one isn't it is it i am right to answer your question no that is not the main uh, uh, i think someone has fingering i answered this question if uh, someone has recognized the question uh, uh, if uh, someone is not recognized that is means uh, uh, others are not work well or not that is not the point here so if ravi is working uh, not working not properly so if so if suppose bagya lakshmi so did well so i should go and ask bagya lakshmi so what you did better than me send you all the questions it means like Bagalishmi is a very good uh, performer. The Ravi is not a uh, uh, work for this company. That's not the issue. Maybe this month Bagalishmi did it. Next month we will be we will succeed. What we did, we did the better. So the margin, how they are fixed, you know, timeline. First, what timeline the people are completing the task. So what task their manager will be assigning. So based on that, all day will be. Uh, provided to the all the associates maybe in your team there are 10 members or there seven out of 10 five to six members will get the chance to get the r and r there is no limit for this week only one person will give into r and r uh, uh, next month weekly uh, next week another one or next month another person will get the r and r that is not uh, policy here even in your team working the 10 to 15 members is maximum there is no limit so each and even whole team can able to get the r and r based on the project maybe they are working day and night some project will be implemented and uh, within a short span of time so all the team work hard and then work night and day we are providing the coupon for the lunch or the in that cooking who will be do the best that is only depends upon the manager so it not means that if i am did the best one so other one is not uh, that is that uh, not doing well is not worth he is not uh, uh, up to the mark that is not the need so if that motivation means what If uh, Bagalish did well, okay, Raghu should learn from Bagalish. What Bagalish did it last time? So what I do, what I am exposing myself, what I can do, so you can do it for that. Got it? What kind of achievement or accomplishment do company recognize? That's what I said at the beginning of that uh, call. The recognition is less about the staff receives their work or most focus on the business can do the ensure the employees. Feel valued, particularly when they do more than they need to do. The question still says the point out is the extension of the previous question. The same thing. The choice is important because it doesn't look as a specific part of your business. Pay and reward structure. Instead of the questions, disagree the instead the any of the employees. It understandable talent attraction for the staff retention is connected to the associate will be given the R and R. What is Anyone, please. Hello, sir. What are your thoughts of negative uh, reinforcement as a matter of motivation? That is little difficult. <laughs> you know, nice question. You are taking this forum. So, one of the biggest motivation employee is to be uh, held with a high esteem uh, by the peers. The best way to earning this respect of by being the acknowledgement of being good at what they do. While most Would they relate to the reward and the organization is the monetary bonus of the executive awaiting for the event? The employee's appreciation does not have to go the expense of long run. Employee rewards can be candidated to the put on the back and genuine compliance. It can be also be simple thanks to a email friendly getting to the work. What is? Thank you, Rajman. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone else, please?
I think there is no doubt. If you allow, can I ask a few more doubts? If you have time, keep it now. Can I add some more points to that uh, young people who are all in that uh, Tamil Nadu? Then I need to give some ideas or some points I want to share. Will it be allow? I will do it. Otherwise, if you have time, slot is over. Then we can close it. So yes, sir, we have time, sir. Yeah. Uh, guys, any more questions, guys? Uh, before I start this one. Okay. Or oh, someone asked the question. I missed out. What is that? Can I can you please read out? What someone is out some question? Can you someone asked the question? Can you read out the message? What we send out? I didn't see that. Uh... So no more questions. Sir. Okay. Yes. Okay, fine. Actually, guys, now uh, as per my experience, okay, so I want to share that uh, how people getting the R and the forum, uh, uh, what I am facing and how I resolve this issue, I want to share with you. So, uh, when people come up with the R and R ceremony, so in R and R forum also they are raising some concern with that because, for the example. As like some of that uh, uh, student asked the question, so I am recognized uh, this forum. So someone has uh, got the uh, uh, opportunity and they get the benefit, all the things. But I am working very hard and hard. So I first of all I think to so, know is it happening for the, all the companies? For the example, if I put in my effort, so I should uh, give uh, share my knowledge or uh, my uh, uh, presentation to that someone else. Maybe they send it to that his manager and get his name for if he did it for this project. For the example, uh, project-wise, we don't know that technically what they are doing. There, but we are all from the HR domain, so we know what uh, uh, actual uh, 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 employee concerns. For the employee, come up with the technical line. We go in, in depth. We can able to go analyze anything. We are given the R&D based on the manager ratings and manager and nominate the people, so we can provide the R&D. So in nomination basis, some people is happy with to come up with that you know uh, uh, R&D ceremony or receiving the award. Some more people come up with the concern. So this is should be coming to me. Why should go to the other person? So then we should take it up to the call with the uh, manager and we can talk to the employee separately and we should ask the concern. In a open forum, it doesn't work to employ all these kind of questions. Everyone is hurt because it is very much impacted the project manager. So we, what we do, you know, we should invite the meeting to the managers and then employees separately, and then we should connect both of them. It should be happen the next time. We should be ensure to ask your manager also as well as associate also. So both of us should happy with that because we need the both the people's uh, ideas because every many once you are coming to the HR field, many questions, many concerns we are coming to the, the HR forum. So you not like that uh, people and uh, non HR people think like that HR only for the recruitment, nothing. There are twenty departments of the HR, HR risk management, HR onboarding, HR uh, uh, filing. There are filing means the background verification and then uh, employee payroll compensation, um, the graduate, PF, statutory and compliances, then the HR risk uh, 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 graveness policy. And, here, uh, and then many many policies are coming to the implementation. HR forum is a very large forum. Not only the only the onboarding new freshers that doesn't know anything. HR means onboarding. That's it. The recruiting the people they have to join. That's it. They pay the salary. How they pay the salary? Background they are there are thousands of HR people working in each and every organization. So who is the coming the gen people? So you should analyze the both the way. You work together with the employers and the project managers, and you can solve their problem. Because once you coming to the IT as well, not only IT is the majorly playing the role for the HR. I am sure that because my hope is a sort of experience. So each and every company the HR is the bad one. So each and associate and employees will be our customer. So we need to treat very warm and uh, welcome to the people. Even coming to the onboarding, you are the representative of the company. So people are coming to onboard. They are facing the you only the first face of the people the HR. So how HR they treat treated. Then they will be thinking about the company. So if you are onboarding on the first day, you cannot fit well. 
done it's very bad like bad remark of that you know uh, organization they think like the roy has that state like that so organization like this things only so we are think the wrong decision to come to this company no this is not the right way we should treat the employee whatever tension even manager pressure everything we are the talk of pressure in the day one but when the company come to day one you should smiley face you can welcome the people on the on board with them so and then you can each not only the first day if uh, you know some people are going to on board some the computer conversation if the conversation is getting the many calls from the employees for the salary reduction salary not there because people doesn't know about that calculation of that hra calculation of the graduate nothing that the people are getting the uh, offer letter they are showing the what are the net income what we get the salary end of the day that's it what is the pt what is the pf what is the graduate direction uh, what is the pt law so nothing doesn't know anything but you should explain to the people this is the way we are happening so this is the policy this is the government law we are following up so this is we can direct the salary some people doesn't know about that uh, 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 no declaration so people are putting that uh, medical claim mobile claim and travel allowances lti everything they put all together end of the day salary coming to all deduction from the salary only people doesn't know anything they think like company will give the benefit to us so once they after that all the benefits for the example rabu getting the 25000 salary in the first day i am getting open the window for that uh, declaration submission rabu put all hra lti mobile everything 1000 1000 1000 So what I am getting the salary is also for the meal voucher also they are putting that 2000 maximum limit 2500 so they are putting all together everything the finally they are getting 15000 salary only they will again they will come back and all the help that uh, you guys have treated me offer letter so 25000 but you are direct and telling the 15000 rupees simple thing we go and back the read out the history they opted everything so once they opted then we need to get the proper approval then we need to revoke that uh, option for which way after some companies they never give that uh, no owns after whole year they will be getting the same amount by a special approval we get it from the higher official and then we release them that is the way of for that so my humble request to all the uh, new gen people uh, please be work proactive and then all the best for your future in success in hr forum hr is always the bone of the company again and again telling you please warm welcome to all our employees as a customer and you will be succeed in your life, career all the best for you all thank you so much thanks you know is it my subscription is over then we can conclude there um uh, before that the martin you want to add anything about this so finally i want to ask something from the martin so you guys for from that <laughs> martin is there no sir you done it sir no no sir yes sir yes sir yeah you done it and uh... so we can use some time for students to come with some questions and all so please, so please, they are our please. customers at least they should satisfy you no know, in terms of <laughs> yeah 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 anytime anytime yeah yeah students uh, you can ask some questions based on second session yeah uh, you can just uh, uh, share my linkedin uh, profile to that uh, uh, people who are the all the questions they can uh, Uh, reach out to me. I can able to uh, answer the questions as well. If there are any doubts in future, so you have yes, my sure, LinkedIn ID. Sir. You can share my LinkedIn ID to the students. So if anything, I will, I will definitely answer this all the questions. Okay, sir. Sure. What is it? Can I log off or any more posting? Anyone else? Anything? Participants, if you have any questions, you can ask or post it in the chat box. Uh, there is no more question. I think. Thank you so much, uh, Martin sir and the organization, and uh, really thank to give this opportunity. I'm looking forward uh, 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 more uh, 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 forum. I want to add in that I want to attend this more session also the different different concepts. 
so thank you so much for this given for the wonderful opportunity in this evening thanks a lot and your organization you and your team so thank you for giving us an informative session sir well welcome, welcome all you so now i request ms shenbaga to deliver the vote of thanks sorry So Shenbaga will be rendering the vote of thanks. Yeah. Sir, it was a good session, sir. Thank you. Oh, uh, sir. Before you are a leader, success is all about growing yourself. When you become a leader, success is all about growing others. I, Shenbaga, second M A H R M, take this wonderful opportunity to thank our esteemed speaker, Mr. Raghu Kannan, H R consultant, K Jemni, for sharing his valuable insights and knowledge on the topic employee reward and recognition. I would like to share a few key takeaways from today's session. Happy employees are more productive. Improve employee retention. It's always good to appreciate your employees in front of their co-workers. Monetary bonuses and giving company branded gifts are more good ways of employee recognition. Set up an employee recognition wall in workplace. We, the future HRs, would really work on the understanding provided by our lively speaker. Sharing is caring is an age-old proverb. Due to this thought, I would like to thank the pillar of our PG department of HRM. HOD Dr. N C Martin for sharing this webinar, and Professor Snega for her support to organize this webinar, providing us with an enlightening tour to the pragmatic arena of HR. Finally, I extend my gratitude to participant, participants from various professions and students. Kindly fill up the feedback form, which is provided in chat below, with your name and email ID. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you all. Have a good good evening. Thank you so much, and thanks for your warm conclusion. Thanks a lot. Thank Wish you all the best, guys. All the best to your future career. Uh, really good to uh, work and looking forward to all guys in that uh, good HR profession. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. 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 It was a great session, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. All the best. All the best. Welcome.